a little bit chilly up here. So just as a, a recap, the last time I flew, I had an engine out. Engine out, engine out. Turns out it was my crank bearing, absolutely destroyed. Seized the engine up, glided my way down. Um, yeah, so managed to get that sort of rebuilt, but not very well as it turned out, because I ended up with a leak, a fuel leak between the crank casing. And I, it's only, I noticed it when I was doing my um, mixture, giving it some real revs out in the field. And, uh, and that's when it presented itself. Otherwise, I would have never known. Showed this uh, fuel leak, and you know what? I reached a point with it. I reached a point where I just about had enough. Um, so it was bye bye, Parajet. Didn't know what to do. In the end, I gave Simon Westmore the paramotor training a call. And we basically uh, got ourselves a. a a Monster 185 MY20 Plus. So I've got the clutch on there now. Um, basically, we put that on the V2 frame. It's now been on there for about a week. It's taken me a little while to get it all bolted on, um, get it all set up. We had problems with the idle on it. Turns out it was the low screw. So if you've got a Monster and you're thinking you're not allowed to adjust the mixture, that's not right. You're not allowed to adjust the high. You are allowed to adjust the low, and it's the low that makes the idle run very, very poorly. So anyway, got her running today. She's running absolutely beautiful at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way. She's got bags of power. with this universal 31 meter <laughs> I'm not struggling for lift anymore I am not struggling for lift anymore. Okay, mate you happy I'm all happy mate I'm just chatting away to me GoPro how's the um, how's the wind up there it's there mate but it ain't gusty it's smooth you can feel there's a fast direction and a slow direction um, but it ain't gusty, mate, and there ain't any thermals really. Not been bounced about at all. No, I, I don't think there'd be any thermals. I'm not. Thermals don't worry me. It's just the gut, mate. You're. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing it. You are hooting your back now. Oh man, she climbs. Nathan, there's three planes coming directly at you. Three planes. Can you see them? No. One behind you, one to your left, one to your right. Coming right at you now. Are you talking shit? No, no. Very, very fast. Very, very fast, mate. Diving. And that is how it feels. <laughs> Mother. There is, by the looks of it, though, a balloon. No way it's blown up this time of wind. <laughs> so, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking stock. I'm checking the wind direction. I'm a real good look around. And I'm trying my best to sort of gauge what these fields are like because if there's one thing I've found out is it's really hard to spot hills. What happens is if you go for your, for your landing, you see a flat field and you think, that's Christy, I'll have a bit of that. And as you get lower and lower, the hill gets steeper and steeper. You can see there's some power lines down there. Hang on, that 
way. If you haven't seen it before, this is the new uh, roundabout at Ashford. I feel I should be holding the camera the other way. So, um, where are you going, mate? I don't know, I'm just crossing over the M20 now. M20, okay. Um. Do you want me to come back? So, just there is where I took off from. I'm going to head that back there now. I've been up for a good half hour. So I'm just going to head back and land, let the engine cool down. And then I'm going to launch again. It's getting cold up here though, I wish I'd bought a coat. Oh, she's so quiet when you calm her down. Thought I had the idle set right, clearly I hadn't. Okay. Bloody engine conked out, didn't it? The engine's conked out. And here comes the catalogue of things that I do wrong. First of all, I try to trim it. <laughs> I've got my hand through my brake. So watch this. I'm going to pull my hand all the way from one side to the other so I can use two hands to raise my trim. Uh, no, of course, what does that do? Fuck. Slam me into a left hand turn. Uh, power line? Hang on. See, there's a chance I could have had enough altitude there, but if I was wrong, I was going to hit that power line. I weren't willing to take that risk. Me. Let's start getting back to us. The wind. Let's see the throttle on play as you're coming in. You have got a good line here. When you turn your left line, you nice. So your left. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I was choosing that moment to sort out my twisted brake line. After tweaking the, uh, the mixture again, just right, I took flight again, just for that last final little 20 minutes whilst the sun was setting. It was beautiful. Fortunately, the GoPro had run out. Drunk and all alone Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? 
you know I'm gonna leave behind the worst of all.